Hey guys, I'm excited to show you some of the stuff we've got here today for this TJ for an LS swap. We've put the entire thing in from radiator to fuel integration system and everything in between so we can show you exactly how easy an LS swap actually is for a do-it-yourselfer. Okay, so starting at the front, we've got our uh, in-house manufactured radiator. We manufacture our own radiators in-house. The problem with putting a V8 in a Jeep is the vehicle that that engine came in had a much larger radiator. In a Jeep, you only have about 21 inches to work with. And so you have to find ways to make these more efficient. One of the things that we've done is we put two rows in this radiator that are an inch and a quarter thick each. So ours has a higher capacity. In addition, we have a very high fin count per inch. And then those fins are actually louvered so they make the air slow down and pick up a lot of heat as they get drawn through by the electric fan. They are the bomb. These are the best radiator out there for cooling a V8 in a Jeep. And behind the radiator, uh, we've done a, an L33 is the RPO code for that GM has done for this. It's a 5.3 liter that's an all aluminum block. We've done an upgraded camshaft in it, Brian Tooley Racing's level two uh, truck cam. And then Holly, we've recently become a dealer for Holly and have access to all 21 companies in that family. And we have the, a Holly front accessory kit on this that is called a mid-mount kit. And what it does is it puts all the accessories tight into the engine. Uh, that's, if space is a problem with a lot of Jeeps. Um, a lot of the alternators and AC relocation kits put things way out far. Guys will have to trim their inner fender wells and things like that, and, and nobody wants to do that if they don't have to. And so this, this mid-mount kit from Holly brings all the accessories in no wider than the block itself, so it's a perfect fit. And also we put Holly's new Sniper EFI uh, low-rise fabricated intake on this with the fuel injectors uh, that match, and, and this is a really neat system from the throttle body to the fuel injectors. It's all plug and play. They have the, the ECU, they have the harness, and then everything that interacts with it, so it's plug and play. It's the easiest system in install. The thing about this that I really like is you don't have to be a tuner to get it to run right in your vehicle. It's set up to automatically calibrate itself to the, the best settings for fuel ratio. Okay, so also coupled behind the, the uh, 5.3 liter, we've got the GM transmission as well. Uh, we always recommend using a GM transmission behind these because that's what it's natively designed to work with. And the GM transmissions, this is the biggest factor, the GM transmissions are robust and hardy. Uh, when we build those transmissions, we have three different levels that we build them to for strength and, and to handle higher horsepower. And we also have um, our own in-house manufactured output shaft that will adapt that to your transfer case. In this case, it would be a 231 transfer case. Uh, we make that transmission shaft out of 300M material, so it's the strongest thing on the market. Nobody has ever broken one yet. That's not a challenge, by the way, but nobody's broken one yet. Um, and we couple that with our billet adapter to the 231 transfer case and a slip yoke eliminator on the back of it makes it an incredibly long-lasting, durable setup. Uh, we use this billet adapter on the back, and I throw the word billet out there because it just, it's just cool. Everybody likes billet. Uh, billet looks better than cast, and, and you know it, it looks too good to put underneath a dirty Jeep sometimes. Uh, but it's, it's a good-looking piece, and when we design these, we make them as short as possible. Driveline lengths are always an issue in, in short wheelbase Jeeps, and we make these as short as possible. By manufacturing our own output shaft and our adapter, we can keep those to the shortest distance possible. Okay, so the last thing on this chassis is the fuel integration kit. We we've, we've manufacture a kit to integrate the LS system in there, including wiring, and it just makes it simple for your average Joe to install. We took the body off to make it easy to see in this case, but other than that, the tank has to be dropped out to install it. That's the hardest part to the whole install. All right, so just to wrap it up, I just want to let you know that we have everything in-house to take care of you. From the radiator to the fuel system, everything in between engine mounts, wiring harness, rebuilt transmission and transfer case, you name it, we've got it and we can supply it in one package to you. We even have the, the technical staff on hand to handle any of your questions to make it doable for the do-it-yourselfer. Give us a call or go to our website at www.novac-adapt.com.